We're a PLC college, we take students from all walks of life and we deal with students who perhaps may be at a watershed, they're looking for a second chance to reinvent themselves, they may have had a career already or indeed they may be just coming straight from school. We offer also courses that are an end in themselves, in one year they can attain a QQI level 5, formerly known as VTAC. When I was in the Leaving Cert in school I didn't feel like I was prepared or ready enough for college. When I done research on PLCs I found that I had an interest in psychology so I thought that I would take a step but not too many steps and that's why I decided to come here. There were about eight subjects involved. Some of them were behavioural studies, social studies, psychology, communications and things like that. Like, so it all gave an insight into what I wanted to do in college when I went further on. I'm 62. I came back to further education or adult education about six years ago. I've never looked back since. I left school, believe it or not, at 12. Uh, I went on to do a, a nighttime leaving cert in Whitehall College when I was about 45. My overall experience with education, I suppose, is very distant. Uh, I was very nervous, I suppose, young man, and the thoughts of going on to college would have always been a little bit sort of frightening for me. At the time, I was absolutely determined to go back and do something in a third level institution. I had absolutely no idea, you know, how I was going to do that. Lucky enough, my son, who had just progressed through third level, uh, sat me down and actually introduced me to the careers portal. After going through a few different uh, colleges, we came up with this uh, college, the third level access course at uh, Plumpton College. One of my interests was to become a mechanic, so I um, was given a book by one of my schools and uh, they said, uh, well, look, take a look in this column and uh, see what you think. And Plunga College was just right near me, so I just um, took it upon myself to come up and mention uh, about motor vehicle maintenance. And they said, well, we have one more place here for you if you want to take it. I had been out of college for nine years, but I realised that the only way I was going to progress was if I either went back to college to study more. When I came to the open day, I saw the animal science. I knew it was only one year, so I said, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to quit my job for a year, come back to college, see how I get on. And I actually really loved it. Didn't really get on very well in school. Then and at the age of 15 my education was broken so I did my junior cert but I didn't do my leaving cert. My son was 12 and he was going to secondary school. I went back to a place called the Dublin Adult Learning Centre in Mountjoy Square. I did junior cert maths, leaving cert English and did quite well. Because I was a mature student I had specific interests and hobbies in my life so I was very very interested in cooking. I'd been cooking all my life, also growing things in the garden, in the house, so they were my hobbies. I kind of decided early on that I was going to use those two things to develop my career. After I finished my leaving cert I decided that I wasn't going to continue on my education and was going to instead go full time in the job that I had. I worked for a few years, maybe four or five years and then decided that I was going to go traveling. So I went to live in India for a year. I lived in Australia for a year and it was while I was traveling I decided I was going to study after I came back. I knew I wanted to go in and do psychology. Instead of going straight into university, I decided I'll go and I'll do a PLC course to see if this is something that I wanted to pursue any further. The idea of doing different modules in psychology and studying and learning how to write essays and things like that was something that appealed to me and something that the course offered. From the Leaving Cert you're doing two years of studying for one massive exam which is really unfair and a lot of students who aren't good with big exams like I would, I'd have quite bad anxiety when it comes to exams. With the continuous assessment I got I think eight distinctions out of nine and that's why I got into college because it showed me as a full rounded student. I was out of work for about 18 years and then I decided I needed to do something for myself. I walked by the college one evening and they had an open evening and I came in and I got leaflets. There's a few courses I wanted to do. I wanted to do photography, but I saw the SNA course and I decided I had money on me, so I came in and I registered there and then because I had to do it. If I didn't do it then, I would never have done it. I'm delighted I did it. We have had some great success stories from students who have gone on to third level through the QQI system. When I was filling out my CEO, I decided to put down sociology and social policy in UCD. When I came here, I first thought all I wanted to do was peer psychology. Through doing this course and taking a social studies class, I became more interested in the social aspect of psychology, so that's why I went on to do sociology and social policy. The degree that I progressed to in DCU was education and training. It's a Bachelor of Science degree and it's left. Went to the social welfare and they put me on the enterprise allowance. 
so I could keep my social welfare for two years more or less and that was just amazing. Directly after the course finished I went on and I did psychology in Maynooth University. It prepared me to go to college and then college prepared me to work, you know, gives you a kind of generalised skill sets. I wouldn't be able to do a job I'm doing now had I not gone to college and learned those skills. To be asked to actually be get off an apprenticeship with Joe Duffy BMW, I was just blown away, just cannot wait to finish here and start my apprenticeship. When I progressed on from the third level access course in Whitehall, I decided to go for sociology and Jewish and Islamic civilizations, which is a TSM, a twin subject moderateship. It's a four year degree course. The course itself, I find without a doubt, helped me to move on to my next HDIP, which I decided to do in adult education. Progression is very, very healthy and an awful lot of people don't seem to realise that. Every year there are vacant spaces for QQI across the board in very prized high point courses. I'm now in Trinity College doing Biological and Biomedical Science, a level 8 course. I had such a good ability for maths that all of a sudden these animal science routes turned into maths roots. I am a mathematical science student in first year in Technological University Dublin. I haven't quite decided what my career is going to be yet, but with a mathematical science degree, there's so many career paths that I can choose. We can go into pharmaceuticals, we can go into teaching, statistics, financial banking, insurance. This course was absolutely vital. I needed to have this course before I would be acceptable for an SNA job. The first job I applied for, I got all those different modules and everything that's offered with the college sign language course meditation, the art, it all adds to your CV. I have my own independence back now, I'm not stuck in the house. See what you can do with your life, see what makes you shine. All colleges of further education have guidance counsellors. The advantage of having a guidance counsellor is you can come and talk personally and privately to your guidance counsellor. There may be other things in your life that might be holding you back from moving on and certainly guidance counsellors would help with that. We also offer advice on funding should you be returning to college, like taking the Susie grant or maybe talking to your employment agency or employment service about transferring to back to education where you can retain your social welfare payment while you return to college. Because I was a single parent and I was on benefits, that made a huge difference because that just took out the finance for me. So my fees were paid and I also had a maintenance grant. Mary Stokes, who was the guidance counsellor who I worked with, was always there for me. I could just give her a call. Phyllis, the guidance counsellor, she always helped me throughout the year in terms of filling out my CEO and giving me any information or advice that I needed when I wasn't sure of what I had to do next. When I got my results, she called me on the day of it actually and she was over the moon for me. The one experience I remember most was at the very early stage, I think I was only about two months into the class, and I was convinced I wasn't up to it. And I remember meeting uh, Phyllis in her office one day. She sat me down, put me at ease, within a very short space of time, totally convinced me that in fact I was doing quite well. Lo and behold, I was ready to walk that particular day, but she fully convinced me to hang on, stick with the course, even if I finish off the course itself. That was one of the best bits of advice I ever got in my life. My role as a guidance counsellor here is to see the students, each and every one, at least once, personally look at each and every one of their CAO if that is their plan. If not, look at their CVs, look at their job searching skills. Also, of course, the counselling end, not just the careers. I was able to get financial aid for my child's crash. I didn't have to worry about money once I walked through those doors, which is great. A PLC in further education is available throughout the country. If you're a student or thinking of returning to education or thinking of trying to get a qualification to go into the workplace, you might consider a year or maybe two years to qualify in a college of further education. These colleges are available and open to everybody, including international students. Remember, you apply directly to PLCs. You don't have to have a leaving cert. If you go to a PLC, the light bulb might just go on or it gives you an opportunity to say, OK, well, I haven't got myself involved in something that's four years long. It's not going to cost a lot of money if you pull out of it. It's like a little way of dipping your toe into something that you really like. And there's also, you know, a ladder out of the room that will bring you somewhere else a little bit higher. I always look back on the experience that I got in the third level. It 
does give you that, that basic fundamental structure that you need for studying skills and above all, as I say, for confidence in yourself. My advice would be believe in yourself. Without a doubt, you can get through a course like this. It may seem a little bit daunting at the start. The personal progression and development that you achieve from a course like this will stand to you. Ask questions, do as you're told, and show some interest. Being in the PLC was really good for socialising as well because there's so many different age groups within the college and I'm still great friends with a lot of people from my course. I think it is quite daunting for a mature student to go back to full-time education, but it's going to work out so much better in the long run, especially if you're in a career that you're not happy with. It's definitely worth the risk to even investigate colleges, investigate courses. My advice to anybody thinking about it, just do it. Just grab it with both hands, come up and do the course. You've nothing to lose. I could have still been stuck at home saying I was going to do a course. If I got up to do it, anyone can get up and do it, definitely.